Okay, it's a pleasure to come back to the International Hoof Care Summit this year. This venue has become the premier hoof care education event uh, in the United States. I'm privileged to give three uh, seminars here this year. The first one's going to be on equine form and function as it pertains to farrowing. The importance of this is that if a farrier and or a veterinarian and or a horse owner knows the horse's anatomy, knows how it functions and knows the biomechanics of that uh, group of structures, all the fiery answers are going to be there. So what we're going to do is, I know you're going to have really nice, gross uh, anatomy dissections from Mitch Taylor. We're going to go a little, little bit further. We're going to define all the structures. We're going to give you the function of those structures, how they pertain to farrowry, and then we're going to look briefly at how we uh, use biomechanics to make uh, hoof care decisions, in other words, in your everyday farrowry. I'm going to try and give you a little perspective on barefoot versus shod. And I have to admit before we start that uh, I am a big proponent of horses going without their shoes. But there's a, there's a big if there and if the situation allows that. But if we remember, we live and work on horses that are either work for a living, they perform a function in pleasure, or they're competition horses. And in order to perform their various functions, they need to have protection on the bottom of the horse's foot. So we, when wear exceeds growth, we need protection. That's a, a fact that we can't get away from. The second part of that is when you need, when you have performance horses, when you need traction, you need a device on the bottom of the horse's foot. The third part we're going to look at is that when we need, when we have disease, injury, uh, lamenesses due to disease or, or, or uh, uh, different kinds of hoof capsule distortions. We need, again, a device on the bottom of the horse's foot to apply the various types and methods of uh, therapeutic shoeing. Uh, club feet is a, is, is a uh, dilemma, and I will say dilemma, that, that vets and especially farriers uh, encounter on a daily basis. And we're going to look at the club foot from birth, because it's a, it's, it becomes a farrier issue from the day the animal is born. We're going to carry it through the weanling as it develops, when oftentimes you acquire this club foot, and then we're going to take it into the adult and how we treat the adult horse through farrowing. We've been very successful with some of the best horses in the world treating these club feet with uh, by looking at them through farrowing principles. And when we have chronic lameness uh, associated with a club foot, we can go one step further and we can perform a type of surgery on these horses which also to be successful has to be uh, accompanied by the appropriate farrowing.